Yay! Villain party! Wee! Villain party! Well, at least Riddler's having fun. Anyway, this is Guy Christian I with Let's Play Lego Batman. And, yeah. <laughs> In the last episode, we dealt with level 2 of Power Craze Penguin on the villain side. And obviously, we're going to be dealing with number 3, which is Harboring a Grudge. Which, unlike the last villain playthrough, is a vehicle mission. Like, well, there is a vehicle mission this time around. Alright, but anyways. The bird and the croc, together at last. What? You want me to clean your teeth? Ugh! Wait, what's this? Coughs! You hear them? Ha! They forget! We're creatures of water! Let's get out of here! <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, who writes these guys' scripts? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, and there's Catwoman. She got captured. Damn. <laughs> That phase. Oh, and now their night's getting even worse. Oh, hi. Oh, what? Damn, that's a powerful little submarine there. And there's Killer Croc. <laughs> well, that's one way to clear off the clutter. <laughs> All right. Okay, so, this starts up the first of the villain, um, vehicle missions. This one, mechanic-wise, kind of operates basically the same as the, uh, hero side did, just, you know, a different area. Uh, okay, I don't have anything with me right now. Ah, stop shooting at me. Alright, well, I, I press A to dive. Uh, how do I... Blow that up. Yay, stuff. Oh, wait, the purple things. Right. Yeah, you most. They're penguin torpedoes! Yay! <laughs> but yeah, the penguin. It, the, basically, the big and small vehicles kind of switch roles. Like, the big vehicle has torpedoes now, and the little vehicle. Well, neither of them really tow anything or something like that, but. Um, yeah, I like that though, penguin. <laughs> but um, basically, the, the other vehicle does have a uh, we do need the penguin uh, torpedoes in order to get rid of these turrets because they're the only way we can go forward. Oh no! Ah! And yeah, you gotta be careful about that that spotlight because they'll shoot torpedoes at you if you're in it or not. And I want to try and again avoiding uh, movement too much. Now notice that there's a bit of toxic waste in the area, and um, well, well, <laughs> we're going to think about diving here. Dive. Okay, I just have to stop it and touch it. Oh god, this is gonna end badly. Alright, there we go. Alright, but yeah, the, the, the Killer Cock Swamp uh, Rider thing it essentially is the boat equivalent of what the Killer Croc is. Ah, yeah, I knew I was gonna die there. <laughs> I was gonna. No! Why? Damn it, I'm losing all my studs. Oh, wait. But yeah, the uh, the Killer Croc Swamp Rider is one one of the. I think it's pretty much the only water vehicle that has the ability to withstand toxic waste. Like otherwise, he'll just die. So yeah, his vehicle acts kind of just like it does, like the character does. And yeah, that is pretty good. All right, ah, damn, I'm losing all my studs. Okay, let's use this. I don't have to worry about the waste. And, uh, I think I need these torpedoes. I think I may have to clear this pool here. I just gotta be careful about not hitting the rest of the, uh, canister. Or maybe I hit something else and it accidentally... I guess I must have hit something that was a minikit thing. Because when I hit that first one, it got, it got me a 1-5... But yeah, that will uh, get rid of those cannons, gets rid of the toxic waste, so uh, Penguin can go through. Because you do need Penguin's torpedoes. Alright, so yeah, the, the canisters do nothing. Alright. And there's a... There's an easy minikit right there. You just have to just fly off that ramp. I need these more Penguins. Let's see. Get rid of this. Alright, and that deals with that. Man, Gotham's got a really bad waste problem. 
I mean, seriously bad. And, okay, randomly police here. Oh, what? But there wasn't even toxic thing there! God. <laughs> oh, shoot. I hit something again. Uh, maybe it was those, uh, pylon things. Oh, God, turns. Well, I'm not gonna get super villain on this mission anyway, so I don't really care anymore. Pick up some more of these guys. And, uh, let's see. What do we got to do? Alright, let's be careful about the light. Oh, alright. Stuff's going on. Oh, God, we're in the light. Uh, I triggered a thing. Alright. Well, that opens that gate up. And, uh, oh, no. Okay. I was scared that they were going to get me in the penguin thing. Give me these bones, and I'm probably going to die here. Oh, yeah, I can avoid it. I take you with me! Alright, damn, I have 290 studs. This is pathetic. But yeah, just like the uh, end of the hero side, this is gonna end pretty much with a giant boat battle too, only with the police this time, and we know how good those guys are. <laughs> Alright, so, obviously we want to clear out the area, we're gonna need to get some, uh, heaters and stuff. Clear out the, uh, first rack first. <laughs> Alright, uh, okay, hit this thing. There we go, and that unlocks the torpedoes, and now we can do damage to this guy. Can he hit him in the water? Haha, <laughs> I don't think he can. Alright. Oh, no, it's going for that thing! Crap. Alright, All right, don't really need that. But yeah, um, how, how this boss, uh, uh, boss battle works is that you're gonna have these little panels off to the side here. There you go. Torpedoes will park them usually. And that one missed, I think. Alright, so... Refill. Let's get a good shot on this one. Okay, there we go. And then you can shoot torpedoes at the, uh, the exposed parts, and that will start hurting the vehicle, so... And I believe the last one is actually at the rear of the vehicle, too, so... Uh, really get ready for that. Oh no! Oh no! No, I, I, okay, I was wrong then. I, get, I think what we have to do here is we have to trick these lights into targeting. Ah, shoot. Oh, wait, where did I get 11,000 studs? Alright, but yeah, we basically got, got to trick these uh, torpedoes into hitting this uh, boat right here. I don't know what happened there. Oh, these little guys are probably messing with it. Man. Alright, come on, game a little look across the guy. Oh, there we go. Alright. Dude, that was actually kind of clever. Like a clever ending to the boss battle. Because they get rid of your weapons, so you basically have to turn it on them. So, yeah. Whee! <laughs> and the umbrella. <laughs> oh, Catwoman's sad. She's in jail. So sad. <laughs> and, you know, I just noticed we're done with the mission, and I, I, I'm not even nine minutes yet. This is kind of sad. Hey, it's the cat with the diamond! That traitor. <laughs> Aww. So yeah, she's not completely out of it yet. <laughs> And you can probably guess how she ultimately ends up at the end of this episode. But anyways, level complete. And that was really short. That was that was really short, man. I am actually kind of surprised. Alright, and obviously we're going to unlock more vehicles. Yeah. Yeah, there weren't any uh, Riddler vehicles that we could unlock because there wasn't a yeah, villain mission. So those are going to be the first vehicles that we've gotten pretty much a long time. Wow, I'm actually kind of surprised I even made it to 43%. <laughs> Alright, and, uh, just put in what paltry amount I had. And we'll be going back now. Yeah, that mission can probably be one of the harder ones to get the, 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 the super villain on, just because it's so easy to die. Man, why do I always have clay face? It's just, nah, I don't get it.
I honestly don't get it. Alright, but anyways. So yeah, that was this has been Guy Christian 9, and this has been Lego Batman. In the next episode, we are going to be dealing with level 4 of the villain side, a daring rescue. So yeah, pretty much can call that from the cutscene. I'm gonna get these studs real quick though. I mean, yeah, a million one hundred.